good day all this session is for notes here with we are providing the notes for spermatogenesis the process of formation of a mature sperm from spermatogonia let's see spermatogenesis is a process of formation of a haploid motile sperm from the diploid spermatogonial stem cell it begins at puberty and continues throughout the adult life with a decline in the voltage first let's see the formation of spermatogonial stem cells at birth both the testes in male are covered with sex cords the sex cords contains only large pale pg cells and supporting sertoli cells shortly before puberty the sex cords in testes forms a lumen and becomes the seminiferous tubules under hormonal control at the same time the primordial germ cells gives rise to dark type a spermatogonia the spermatogonial stem cells by the time of puberty the seminiferous tubules are entirely lined by the spermatogonial stem cells and supporting sertoli cells with a lumen in the center The seminiferous tubules are covered by a few layers of peritubular myoid cells and in the interstitium presents the ladic cells. The formation of spermatogonial stem cells initiate the formation of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis includes three stages. Stage 1 is spermatocytogenesis says about the formation of haploid secondary spermatocyte from the diploid spermatogonial stem cell stage 2 is spermatidogenesis says about the formation of haploid spermatid from the haploid secondary spermatocyte and stage 3 is spermiogenesis says about the cyto differentiation of haploid round non motile spermatid into a haploid motile sperm First let's see about stage 1 spermatocytogenesis Spermatocytogenesis is a process of formation of a haploid secondary spermatocyte from the diploid spermatogonia This stage includes the formation of a series of different types of spermatogonia and then the formation of primary and secondary spermatocytes It takes a minimum of 40 days and includes two sub stages the first sub stage is the mitotic phase it takes around 16 days and the second one is the meiotic phase that takes around 24 days let's see the sub stage 1 the mitotic phase it has around 7 consequent mitotic divisions and takes about 16 days from puberty at regular interval a group of spermatogonial stem cells by mitotic division differentiate into one dark type a spermatogonia and one pale type a spermatogonia the dark type a spermatogonia will be kept as a reserve for the next cycle of spermatogenesis the pale type a spermatogonia undergoes around 5 consecutive mitotic divisions and produce pale type a clone cells at the 6th mitotic division each pale type a spermatogonia will be converted into two dark type b spermatogonia the dark type b spermatogonia undergoes one more mitotic division and form two primary spermatocytes all these cells have 44 plus xy chromosomes and all cells derived from a single spermatogonium remains connected to one another by bridges of cytoplasm that leads to synchronous development sub stage 2 is the meiotic phase it takes around 24 days here the primary spermatocyte grow in size completes the first meiotic division and give rise to two secondary haploid spermatocytes The secondary spermatocyte thus formed contains either 22 plus X or 22 plus Y chromosomes. Let's see stage 2 spermatidogenesis. This is a process of formation of round non-motile haploid spermatids 
from the haploid secondary spermatocytes. This is a rapid stage and will be completed in no time. Here, immediately after the formation, each secondary spermatocyte enters into second meiotic division and forms two round spermatids. Each spermatid is circular or oval in outline. Stage 3 talks about spermiogenesis. This is a process of formation of a motile spermatozoan from the round spermatid and it takes around 24 days. Under this stage, each spermatid undergoes a series of cytodifferentiation to become a sperm. And the events are 1. The chromosomes are highly condensed and the condensed nucleus is placed in the center. 2. The Golgi apparatus with the enzyme hyaluronidase is kept in the front of the nucleus and form the acrosome. Number 3. The proximal centriole will be placed at the initial part of the neck piece and distally the proximal centriole start producing the axial filament. 5. The mitochondrions are spirally arranged around the axial filament and establish the middle piece. 6. The ring-like distal centriole annulus marks the end of the middle piece and the continuation of the axial filament forms the tail piece. And finally, the sperm loses most of the cytoplasm and covered by the plasma membrane. Let's see a bit regarding the functional maturity of sperms. In all the stages, the sperms are in close contact with the Sertoli cells and are non-motile in nature. The non-motile sperms thus formed will attain their motility when they are transported and stored in epididymis. But the sperms will attain the functional maturity and hypermotility only in the uterus after capacitation. As a whole, the time taken for a sperm to fully develop from a pale type A spermatogonium and to mature is about 64 to 74 days and one pale type A spermatogonia will give rise to roughly around 512 sperms. I hope you all are happy with the notes on spermatogenesis. In the next session, we are providing the notes for the structure of the sperm and sperm defects. Till then, bye.